So next, I want to talk to you about, again, it's crazy times, folks, and it gets even crazier. We're going to talk about college football. We're going to talk about Oklahoma State and their coach, Mike Gundy. Remember this guy? This was a guy back in 2007 that stood up for his players. Don't go after the players. Go after me because I'm 40. I'm a man. And then you want to write articles about guys that don't do things right and downgrade them, the ones that do make plays. Are you kidding me? Where are we at in society today? Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. I'm not a, I'm not a kid. Write something about me. So that was 2007. And isn't, isn't it interesting that he asked, where are we as a society? So in 2007, he might have been a man, but now he's moved to being a Muppet. Because this case that happened is so outrageous. And yet, because of the pressure, he issued an apology. And we're going to get to it step by step. So first of all, he went fishing. He went fishing with some folks. Had a good time. The fishing guide posted this tweet. Afternoon was a success. So then Kyle Boone, who is a reporter for CBS News, he saw that tweet. He decides for some reason to retweet it as if there's a big major offense going on. So he retweets it and he puts this in there. Mike Gundy went fishing on Lake Texoma donning an OAN shirt. That's right. This guy thought it was newsworthy to point out what shirt Mike Gundy, the coach, was wearing. It's an OAN shirt. One America News, an accredited news source, he's wearing that shirt. This guy points it out. You know what he's trying to do here. There's no reason to point out what shirt the guy is wearing. So then, a football player on the team, Chubba Hubbard, he sees the Boone tweet, and he tweets this. I will not stand for this. This is completely insensitive to everything going on in society, and it's unacceptable. I will not be doing anything with Oklahoma State until things change. All right, are you kidding me? First of all, we have this too much where the kids are calling the shots for administrators and coaches. Dude, play football. That's why you're there, probably on a scholarship. Be thankful for that. Second, again, this guy is wearing a news shirt, OAN, an accredited news source. Would it have been okay if it was CNN, if it was MSNBC? But because it's OAN, what about Fox News? What would they have done then? But because he had that shirt on and this football player causes a stink, everyone freaks out. ESPN freaks out. They had a commentator on saying that Mike Gundy should be fired for wearing that t-shirt. Mike Gundy goes and apologizes. And again, the left's uproar is absolutely outrageous. Here is Max Kellerman, a commentator on ESPN. And they're all left wing now. You can't be conservative and cover sports anymore, at least not on ESPN. Here's what Max Kellerman says. Mike Gundy supported a propaganda network that usually works at cross purposes with the greater good of the United States of America. Are you kidding me? OAN works against the greater good of America? According to whom? According to Max Kellerman? Then he goes on, calls OAN a propaganda network because it goes against Black Lives Matter. It questions their legitimacy. I do that all the time, folks. We went through the stats. We know about Michael Brown and Ferguson. We know what started Black Lives Matter, how it was a case that was not a case. It was all based on a lie. And this is how it started. Yet he says that OAN is a propaganda network. And then he adds this. The fact that he's forced to say it in this case is also good because it indicates that that this kind of behavior is not tolerated, that there will be social sanctions against it, and that we are making progress in this kind of uh, aspect of the culture wars in a way that all reasonable people can agree. Wow. This type of behavior won't be tolerated? Who are these people? Again, this guy wore a t-shirt. One America News. What about CNN, MSNBC? Those are sanctioned. Those are blessed. Those are okay. There is absolutely no way Mike Gundy should have apologized for this at all. He should have put a tweet and said, it's a t-shirt, grow up. But no, nope, everyone freaks out about it. And what's scary are comments like Max Kellerman, where they say it's okay to do this, that it's okay to push someone, to push a narrative. As long as they agree with it, we're going to pressure you to change. Give me a break. It's absolutely insane.
All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that quick hit, but before you go, there's more. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you'll be notified. Then check out the full show that this quick hit came from. And when you're done with that, here's another video just for you. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.